Hello, 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 guys, and welcome back to another stream of Danganronpa. We took a little break for one stream to do some um, anime watching. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to actually like post a part of that, because since I'm not affiliated or any of that, my stuff don't get to stay. But um, thank you for showing up, coming to the stream. It's always appreciated. We are in the morning. I don't exactly remember what happened last time, but um, we're going to figure out. So let's just get right into it and hope for the best, shall we? Okay, let's just, let's just I'm pretty sure we're going to go have to meet everyone in breakfastito. What do we have here? Yo, it's been w I've I've been waiting. Hmm? Are you the only one here? Where's everyone hmm. else? They went on ahead. Went on ahead. To where? Hey, come on. We can talk about about it later. For now, let's go and take a bath. But bath. Oh, we're here. <coughs> Someone help! Feel me. What's going on? Makaru, save me. I never asked you for anything, but I'm asking you now. W what happened? What? <laughs> She's trying to kill me. Yufumi pointed at. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? What is going on here? I never said I was going to kill him. I simply asked him a question. Um, uh, I'd, I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice oh wrong button it's why the same mistake the same mistake what did he do so he snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter's ego without permission and when i caught him last night he was um, hugging the laptop and breathing strangely huh? 
what? What were you doing? I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being uh, subdued didn't work, or being settled didn't work. Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. No! Ah, please don't kill me. Wrong. I'm not going to kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. Oh boy, oh boy. What? I just want to hear his exclamation myself. Huh, he feel me. Could you please tell me what happened? Well, well, I just I was just talking. However. Which was prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I, I mean, you see? Talk to her was just so much fun. And I I just uh, um Whoa, okay, time out. I can't believe I'm about to um, ask you this, but you feel me? You're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, did you? Or are you? <laughs> ha! That I could, um, that cold blooded killing machine of an underworld would ever fall in love? That's. Well, wait, would no seem... way. Is, is this love? According to the spirits, I happen to be a psychic. Uh, to, I happen to do a psychic reading on a certain very um, famous COE once. CEO once, not COE. CEO. Jeez. Um, and that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He was. Um, he had a wedding and everything. How about that? And your eyes just now. I saw the same look in his eyes. You know nothing. Shut up. She's not a mannequin. She's an angel. I feel as if. And I don't bother telling, um, and don't bother telling me angels, uh, exist. What we have, um, cannot be defined by petty words. <sighs> yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> How did things end up like this? Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say, Master, one more time. But, but then I was poking around at her settings and stuff, and saw... She was a well-designed program, and I was like, how can I say? It was the first time I, I'm ever able to talk to, to that, well, like that, with a normal girl. <sighs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. What? Even when we uh, did, uh, or even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. <laughs> Your stories are so interesting, you feel me? Come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have, um, I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose. That was the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Mom says stuff like that to you, that's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> it's that's like. That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. And before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you, um, you have misunderstood the situation, you feel me? Are you okay with this? Ultra Eagle is not intended to, or is not interested in who you all were. It was interested in what you knew. It's an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course it wanted to hear things it did not know. Um, you're an, an expert on many things, Shihiro. Uh, things. Shihiro cannot have tar um, thought, taught it about for what it was worth. Honestly. Dr. Eagle wants that information. That is all. I know that. I, I know. I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless, or you gotta be freaking kidding me? F you! Hey, you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever. Yo! Oh, Taka, are you back? <laughs> Who the hell's Taka? Huh? Um, you? <laughs> Listen up! It's me. Got it? What the heck? Uh, you're who? What? Don't bullcrap me, it's obvious. <laughs> I'm uh, Kyo uh, Kyotaka and Mundo. So like, Kyondo, I guess. Yeah! I'm gonna stick um, a banana up your t t 
tailpipe. Oh my god. What the? What the heck uh, kind of uh, fusion is this? What happened to you, Taka? Actually, I don't remember what happened the day before. Well, then. So because of Order Eagles um, said to him. Um... Are you sure that Order Eagles' fault? Maybe Mundo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh -huh. g g ghost? That's n th th there's no such thing. <laughs> what are y'all whining about? Come on! What? God, your son, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Hifumi. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but bro belongs to me. Huh? huh? Yeah. Aldrigo has the exact copy of the one g who gave me my soul back. <laughs> I'm not gonna let anyone else um, have him ever again. Fudge an idiot. <laughs> I'm afraid I cannot allow that. W what? So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimu? Ishimura? Ishimaru? Ishimaru? Since I have no of this opportunity, let me say this right now. That's it. Destiny I'm has sure bound it. me to um to her together in the Gordon Gordon knot of true love. <laughs> well me and him have the same uh, melt together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey hey, come on guy, come on you guys. Moron! Talk to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points. Completely unforgivable! Well, I punch at the speed of sound and I don't have any hair, so... No, oh, so there's no drag. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. She has left him for to all of us. We can use him uh, to finally gain access to the uh, vital clue. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, hey! they will have to deal with me. What? Anyway. Until Ultra Eagle has finished his, um, his work, do not do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So? I can't hear you. I suppose. Y yes. Yeah. G got it. So then. Okay then. Let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with this, a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Hifumi and Taka have um, leave dejected, uh, we all went back to our rooms. Ooh, we get to all have fun. Nobody's here, which makes me sad, but it's all right. It's morning still, but um, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I have to pull myself together, so what should I uh, do with the rest of my day? Well, you see, what we do, um, first, can I switch this back to, I, I can't, okay. I guess I would have to, okay, which, which doesn't matter to me. Because we have a map. Okay, so where is um, Hina? Is Hina there? Nope, Hina's not there. Hina's not there. Or there. Hina's there. I found you, baby girl. We found you. What does it say? Oh, okay, yes. Physics lab. She's not there, so she's probably like around the corner. Somewhere around here. Alright, game, you can't do this to me. Like, I know she's up here. Ah, there you are, Hina. Okay. The opposite of possible is impossible. It's a challenge. Mm. That's a quote from a famous baseball player, Jackie Robinson. And we have to remember this. Um, it's just a challenge. We can't give up. Hmm. Should I talk to Hina for? Yes, we should spend time with Hina. Always spend time with Hina. <laughs> if you're never spending time with Hina, you're doing something wrong. Okay, you want to go for a rock? I don't care where to. <sighs> Although, no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. Hina and I walked aimlessly around the school. 
Hina gave um Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hina a present? Definitely. What would you like to give her? Okay, so we don't have any material water. Um, we do have this, but like, I don't know. I don't know if this is. All the lungs are cracked. They're mainly um, used as emergency emergency ration. Each contains a full flavor. Okay, I know because I know she likes some. Um, what does this say? This is just filled with boiling cup and radio, of course. It also goes bad in like 30. It's the overflowing lunch boxes, you know, that's really good for her. Is there like different colors to these? Like, okay, so yellow, not yellow, not yellow, not yellow. A pink ring. What would I even give her? Well, not Emperor's thong. Not that at all, jeez. Um, not that, not that. I don't know who you give these stuff to. Mr. Fastball, I know who to give that to. Go to the airplane. Project Zombie. Made his handbag. The second button, Vice. Ancient tour ticket, the voice changing bow tie, small light, voodoo dolls. I don't even know what this is. What's up with Elbow film made from scratch. It's commonly used to have as a candy wrapper, but it also helps um, recover the taste of the bitter medicine. Oh, I almost hit A on that. Cat dog magazine. Okay. A man's fantasy. Okay, so we're gonna try to give her a cup of noodles. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> hey, thanks. I'm super stoked. Oh, does she liked it? Uh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I just please. gave you food. Makoto, help me. I'm hungry. What am I supposed to do? I need food. Anything. I don't care if it's a scrap, sack of paper. Need food. Why don't you just eat more donuts? Just a second. I can't. That's my secret weapon for emergencies only. If I keep on uh, going on something with that many calories, I'll get fat in no time. So even she cares about that kind of thing. Well, she is an athlete. But... Besides, I don't want anything sugary right now. I want a, um, a salty snack. Like potato chips? Mm. Like ramen. How's that a snack? You got it all wrong. Huh? How's it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Uh, so of Silkun, without a doubt. You got it! Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you, you know? What's your favorite, um... What about you, you know? Are you worried about the calories and stuff? Okay. I'm a portastic, uh... I'm a port... Pork it's, uh, uh, port... Portastic, uh... Ton... Ton... Um, tonkatsu... Girl. Uh, though, it, through and through. Jeez, I had so much trouble to... Or do you not care about the calories at all? <laughs> the key element of any uh, tokusatsu ramen is butter and extra fat. So, uh, you're okay with all that oil? Uh. I'll talk about it, it made me even hungrier. Maybe it's time, maybe we I can make it into the dining hall. Are you sure though? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. What is this? Who says stuff like that? You're a real man? Are you a real man or aren't you? What are you afraid of? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Monica. I'm ashamed to know you. Or are you still Hina? Just a second. Shut up. Get out of my way. I'm gonna show you what real ramen looks like. Or are you gonna stand in the way and suffer the first phase consequence? No, I don't have any intention of getting in your okay. way. Then don't. If I don't do this now, whenever or uh, when I'm ever gonna do get another chance. Crying like a starving raven, Hina ran off to, at or run off at a dangerous clip towards the kitchen. When it when it comes through, um, comes to food, Hina's terrifying. Report card is now based. You have unlocked the skill exercise. Ooh, give yourself that on the pack. You earn it. Nice. I've learned my lesson today and made my way back to my room. Nice. We learned. We got a new skill. We're so good. Oh, 
I still have more time left. I feel like um, wasting around saying here, which I should go back. Always, always. Okay, where's Kirigiri? No, I don't want to talk to him. Not you. We go here. Go talk to Kirigiri. I don't even know what Kirigiri would even like. Oh, where or where would she be? This way? Oh, there you are. Good thing I turned around and looked. Just a second. What's the matter? Why are you bouncing around like a rabbit? <laughs> Don't you have anything to do? Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yes, Kiri Gary, we always Certainly. talk to Kiri. There's no reason to decline. I <laughs> And I am not a typo to decline anyway. And I... Besides, I find myself more and more um, interrogate, intrigued by someone like you. I spent some time with Kyoko. Okay, now I got closer to Would you like to give her a present? Yes, definitely. Okay. So we have to, we have to think. What would she like? What would she like? Because we definitely can't give any of these away. Not a man's fantasy. Not a change. Not that. Can a dog magazine? Um, you might think it has to do with pets, but it's more related to beds. It's a guide to junior high and high school to help you with um, physical health. Hmm. Um. I don't know what exactly she would like. What's the second button? Uh, if the case really is necessary. Okay. Maintenance tips and tricks. We do have tips and tricks. What's this? It's like the hints and codes for every game ever released. A must have for any game fanatic. Project Zombie, a mature game? Okay, so that's a game. Go to airplane, there's a golden sculpture to sit to represent a spaceship, okay. Fast fall, silent receiver, self-destruct get. Yeah. Uh, records the message into it, sets up a chemical reaction, and destroys the tape in a few seconds. Let's try. <laughs> oh, I got it, sweet. Hmm, I, th I, uh, I actually feel, please, how strange. I get impression she liked it. That's good. Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't um, like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? And? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I'm. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like you're gonna get out. Uh, I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Mm hmm. You can certainly make an argument that um, that forming friendship may help preventing killing, prevent killings. So. But are you asking for some kind of deep connection, huh? Because. You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you can gather information. N no, that's not. Why? Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A, a test. That's right. If you're still going hung on friendship, um, as you claim, this should be an easy question. Uh, okay, so, I just didn't answer your question, is that it? So then... Are you ready? Could you consider Hina one of your friends? And? If, the, uh, if that's true, what's her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. Hina's ultimate um, is she's training for the Olympics. Dude, for a nice body. It's swimming. I know that. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well, asked and answered. It would seem... Then your pleas of um, camarades are true. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a f um, foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know um, right away. Again, with that foolishness open um, self. So. so then. Okay then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Hmm, let's see. Which school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? I was in an exchange program. Or do your parents um, work overseas or something? My parents? I suppose. Why are all the question marks? Anyway, okay. So she's living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? 
Foreign government. Top some secret clearance. Four question marks. Okay. So he does um, top secret work for other government? All I can think of is assassin. Ooh. I got my end of the deal. Goodbye. There should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. Can you just tell me what you are, man? Come on. She left without um, even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mysteries. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Huh. Okay, well, your maximum... Oh, it's, it's still keep on going up, but I still don't have any skills besides the one that we just got with Hina. Once we're all done, we headed back to our room for a little while. It should be nighttime now, I believe. Yes. We're now hitting the sleep zone. Hmm. <clears throat> this, this is, is a, school a school announcement. announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, uh. it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I originally tried to watch the dub version of this um, game for, for just number one. It was so bad. Nighttime already? I guess I'll go to bed for today. It was just so bad. Like the, some of the voices were like spot on. Other voices were just horribly wrong. Just horribly wrong. Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating. So once again, happy new day! Always happy new day. I wonder if a killing happened. Good morning, everyone! It is now is this, 7 a.m. Is this the day and nighttime is killing? officially over. We've gone through time to rise two and different shine. free times, I believe. So that means. Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Which I think that means we're on a murder or we go through one more free time. I better go to the dining hall. But I'm not sure myself right now if it's gonna be a. It's investigating time or not. I think it is, but I'm not, I'm not like a hundred percent sure. I really hope it is. I don't know if I can take any more free time. All right, who's here? Oh, every... oh. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Koko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well have just forgot about that guy. Oh, or forget um... about that guy. You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that, that virgin? I mean, I might catch his virginity. But. Uh, my guess uh, is you're already affected. Huh? Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as uh, my hands approach my food. <laughs> Ah, Genocide Jill. Huh? That voice. The door to the dining hall exploded open and a figure pot appeared. So in the end. So it's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Don't bother asking me why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Yep. I'll give you a hint. Uh -huh. I'm wearing a red lingerie today. Huh? Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know that. Huh? Hold on a second, you. Huh? 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 Hmm. Have you reached that certain age? What's your top um top power level? Like 35, 22, 33? You start um you start out big on top and try to look thinner down south. You SOB! <laughs> look at your melons, they're seriously gargantuous. Or get gargantuan. Do you uh, do you dunk them in milk every night or something? Ooh. You're starting to freak me out. 
No forgiveness! If you lay finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. <sighs> so what do you want? Uh, surely you're not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came here. Uh, I came here as. I came here to hear a story. I don't know why I kept on skimming over two. A story? A story that nobody bothered to tell me yet. Are we talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't talk about it, that right now. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> because of a certain circus amps. <sighs> Up to now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned. I don't buy it. It's all clear now. I've made a decision. When we are, uh, when we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to vultures. <laughs> what kind of messed up uh, dictator are you? What? But this isn't a democracy, or, or, or would you exclude those who don't fit your tyrannical majority? That, that's not what we're doing. That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, he appeared to notice something seemed off. So I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you're not just to say it like that. I see. Did the spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand the, this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in a cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> or perhaps that will uh, make things all the more interesting. Interesting. Such ignorance. Let me leave um, you with a bit of advice. Don't come um, to rely on false camaraderie. Come out of me. Come out or come. Or you will reap a better um, reward. What the heck? That's why you came to give us this amazing advice. <laughs> It seems I'm unwelcome here. Then I will grant you uh, your desire and remove myself. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard to get, Master. You can, uh, you can just play hard. Hmm. That doesn't make any sense. We have to start to slowly back out of the room. He started picking up speed as soon as. Uh, as soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. He, he ran away? So now he's running hard, um, running hard to get, I see. Wait, 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 wait! Um... So, so that's the end there. Oh, what was that all about? Uh, um... Just now, Biako was like... Um... Maybe he's, um, likes the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all frustrated when things change. Hmm. I guess so. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast and then went back to our rooms. Is it really free time? Hmm, what should I do? It is free time. We got more we got more free time than ever before. We got we gotta go gotta go find Miss Miss Hina. You're not here. Kiri Kiri, um maybe later. We're looking for um they're back in the same place they were before. All right. Well, you would hope they're back in the same place as they were before. Okay, let's get to it. Oh, he is in front this time. Okay. Even if it's hard, um, you have to endure, endure, endure. Well... That's a quote from a famous marathon runner, Samuel, uh, Wanziri? Jiru? Mm -hmm. But every person's, um, endurance has an element. Maybe I should have talked to Ian for a while. Yeah. Yeah! I think we need a change of pace. And when I think of change you of pace, it. um, I can only think of 50 laps in a pool. I changed my face with Hina in the pool. Definitely. Do you think that this food would suffice? We'll try. We'll try. <laughs> oh, Makuto, it's like you read my mind. 
Does that mean she liked it? <sighs> uh, this sucks. Huh? What happened to her? She seemed way more depressed than usual. Hey, Hina, what's wrong? Um... Oh, well... I tried to convince myself I was matching it. But I totally wasn't imagining it. Imagining what? I'm sick of I, this. I got fat. I figured. Uh -huh. I'm so fat. Fat from every angle. I hate this. Hate it. I may as well have just accepted and embraced my new big fatty attitude. But what if I just keep getting fatter and fatter? It's never. It never I'm stops. I'm sick of this. I just get uh, disgustingly mor uh, morbidly obese, and then nobody wants to marry me, which makes me depressed. And I <laughs> I get even fatter eventually. I can't stand up on my own. And when I die, and I'm sad and alone, and nobody notices, I I finally lose weight, and then my body starts to rot. I think maybe you're worrying a little bit too much. Besides, as far as I can tell, you look exactly the same. What the heck? You're just saying that. I'm a total chub monster. I'm I'm a perfect circle. No, seriously. I'm not just saying that. Mm. Then I'm still hot. Well, 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 I mean, uh, yeah. Um. Really? Then uh, I might still make it out alive. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you'll make it out alive. <laughs> Thank God, seriously, thank God. Okay. But I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement as of right now. Aoi, um, Hishina is on a diet. A diet? You got it. Just you watch. I'm gonna get so thin, it'll scare the crap out of you. Well, well, don't overdo it, okay? okay. Don't try to stop me. I've made up my mind and I'm, and my willpower is rock hard. And now my resolve is mo even more rock hard. And before all that time, I uh, but before all that, time to get stuffed on donuts. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. Okay. Hmm. So good. So good. Make sure to hydrate, people. I'm not sure if dieting is really in Hina's skill set. Oh yes, maximum skill point. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Once we're all done, I headed back to Marin for a little while. I still have some time. I can just, I uh, can't just around. I need to find something to do. All right, well then let's go find Kitty Kitty. Oh my God, is she still in here? No, no, she's out here, which means she's like, oh, she's right here. Did you need something from me? Hmm. Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Let's spend some time for so... Kyoko. I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometime. By then, why don't we take a little break? I spent some time with Kyoko um, doing nothing in particular. Always. We always gotta give you something. Yes, definitely. What do you want to give her? Um. Um. Uh, we're just gonna keep on scrolling? No. I don't know who you would get Emperor's Thong to. Like, I actually don't know. I know who to give that to, but he's dead. I don't know. Do I have any more trucks? Nope. Okay. Go to airplane. I don't think we give that to her. Project Zombie. Okay. Second button. Vice. No. No. What's this? Oh! Correct. Are you sure about this? S sorry. Does that mean she liked it? Oh, I guess I got it right. I didn't mean to hit Y. I meant to hit A to see the. Ah! But look, it's okay, we got it right. That's all that matters. Oh, Kyoko. How do you say so calm, Kyoko? What? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. I never show emotion. Hm. You are, you never show, no, not I. 
You say that like some kind of inhuman beast. Uh, no, I didn't mean it like that. Hey. Well, I am human, and I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself, so I don't show it um show it in my face or in my voice. You make um you make that sound way easier than it is, especially in those kinds of circumstances. In these kinds of circumstances. That's what we have to do. Well, you should consider things. You're naive, honestly. Makes you um easy to target. She keeps saying these things like that. It's kind of irritating. Isn't there anything I could do to uh, get a reaction out of her? In other words, uh, protect or protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. And whoever stands um, before you, don't let them push you around. Correct. Remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings. But. but but that's such a waste. What? Hmm? Your smile, it's just so cute. Hiding you behind a mask is such a waste. Our bright smile is way better. Well, what are you talking about? What? Cute? It's uh, much too soon to bring up things like that. Looks like I got to show a little hint of emotion, didn't I? What? 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 You, Makoto, you. It can't be. You deceived me? Wait. Oh, wait. Why? I, I don't believe this. To use the word cute to deceive someone? That's just too cruel. S sorry, I, I got carried away. B but still, I did deceive you, but it's not like it was a total lie. <sighs> you see how easily, um, easily you yourself were deceived? Huh? Hey. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that, completely out of character. And I thought I would pick up on such an obvious ploy. What do you mean? I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked? <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest to a fault. And with that, she was gone. The most formidable opponent. Do we, do we get a skill? Do we get a skill this one? Oh, we unlocked a natural. Ooh. Oh, we, we've been unlocking lots of skills today. With Kyoko gone, I've slowly made my way to my room. It should be nighttime. So this is third free time, I think, because we did one before the last stream. Huh? There's something at, um, by my door. Oh, I meant to... Did you hit that? Yes, there we go. This video paper, it looks like someone must have uh, slipped under my door. Meet in the dining hall? This handwriting is really good, but I don't want to. Uh, but to want to meet up so suddenly, he wrote it, and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Yeah, we're gonna leave our room. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna be men. When we're gonna make it out here alive. Is it gonna be Kyoko? It's gonna be Kirigiri. Is Kirigiri gonna. Yo! Yo, Makadu! Hero, then the letter I found in you my know? room? Yep, I wrote it. Wow. Your handwriting is really nice. Hmm. Well, I was taught. Um, I was always taught if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet me? Hmm. Oh, I just, um, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually. I'm just Aaron boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say for a late night bath session? Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it. No, I, I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder and pulled me close and whispered into my ear. Serious? It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? what? Then did, or, then did or, Ultra Ego finish his research? It, you got it, hero. Let's go take a dip together. I was, pro uh, I was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and hero, uh, we hurried in, uh, into the dressing room. Nice. We made it, we made it. Oh. As soon as we got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you! 
Hey, you! How long are you going to keep us waiting? Uh, Taka's uh, irritated voice pierced the air as he st um, stared promptly at his wristwatch. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock. You know that bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. <laughs> Sh shut up. What? What did you say? You want to make me uh, make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I heard. Uh, well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a, a personality. <laughs> what? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours. You know that? <laughs> what the heck? How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak in a way to our heaven saint master. Oh. Hmm, are you back to normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, come on. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Um, then my messenger duty is complete. Hey. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? Uh, it's got to have to do something with uh, Ultra Eagle, right? That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah, totally. Did he find any clues? Well, what is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? It's going to be nothing. And we're going to be sad. It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check on things, and it, that's when I discovered Alder Eagle, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way! Are you kidding, right? Oh, um... Huh? What? She's gone? F you! You can't be fudging serious. What'd you do with him? Hmm. Was it the mastermind? Did he, uh, did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Ultra Eagle to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. Oh, sweet. It's, um, it's going good. Uh, how do I even say this? Is it wit? Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Um, I would have to actually think of... Yeah, I know, I've, I've actually, um, for Danganronpa, I've, I've seen like the anime, but I haven't played the first game, so I really wanted to play the first game. I plan on going through like all three of the games, just, just for fun. Um, it's cool that you came here to hang out. Um, I definitely will go and check out, um, Check you out and see how your banners and stuff look. Always down to look for some better overlays and stuff. Um, if it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have um, well, alerted us. Maybe we just missed it. However, I was in the uh, laundry room right next to the uh, or right next door all day. There was no way I could, uh, wouldn't have heard it. But, but if it wasn't the mastermind then, the solution um, has to be, or to this particular mystery is obvious. It can only have been him. Without a doubt. Mr. Uh, Ishimuru. I, I cannot pronounce these names correctly. I wish I could. Some of them are just like so bad for me to pronounce. You stole her, didn't you? What? What? I am the ultimate morale compass. I would never do something like that. Hmm. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, you're the suspicious one here. Nothing but a big jiggly sack of fat. <laughs> it shows uh, what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Nation. What are you any Jungle Z character, Hikumi? Er, wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. <laughs> um, wrong. It's you. For serious. Well, I'm sure uh, it was one of you. Who? So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. 
Wrong. No, there's no way um, either one of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So. I told Orto Ego to yell if Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? Well, what? <sighs> It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly, which means it wasn't them. But... Then who was it? It was so Byaku. It. it was him. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, if it wasn't Taka or Infumi, then quite simply it was someone else. Interesting. Makoto, Celeste, uh, Sakura, uh, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of them must have been the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us steal Ultra Ego? <laughs> How about um, this for a reason? <laughs> There's a traitor amongst us. Huh? Hmm. One of, uh, one of us is working with the Master Bot. A spy. And that's, um, that's the one who stole Ultra Ego. Uh, can you deny, uh, can you deny possibility? It, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now, uh, that there might have been a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone to help um, us keep things, uh, smoothly. Or smoothly. Uh, a spy for the mastermind? A traitor? Uh, one second. Uh, no. It's impossible. Something that horrible? Th there's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Say what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't it's care who. Like... Someone. Anyone. Save her! Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Damn it! Same here. How many times do, um, do I have to kill bro before they're happy? Or do they have to? I beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please. <gasps> Give him back. Oh, I got the hiccups now. So, um... Uh, this is pretty messed up. But still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Ultra Eagles is most likely safe for the moment, at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they would have taken it. Uh, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it, it has something else in mind for him? Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. <laughs> No matter what it takes, I'm going to get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear, I will save her! Using the power of love. <coughs> Taka Ifumi, <coughs> what a sad person. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such... It is officially night time. Oh. Soon the doors it's to the dining hall ball. will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. It's strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep okay. tight. Don't, Don't let, let the bed bugs bite. Hmm. Let's see, um, it's a nightmare. There is nothing to be done. It's unfortunate, but we will have to leave this search for tomorrow. For now, everyone, get some sleep. <laughs> someone's gonna die. It has to be. It has to be time for someone's gonna die. Ultra E- Oh, yeah, you weren't here for two streams ago. So, Ultra Ego, uh, you know how Chihiro was- Uh, sh he- He was the, um, uh, ultimate programmer? Well, there was a broken laptop, like- the chapter, no, it had to have been the same chapter, the same chapter. So he took the laptop and made an AI that looks like him and and has been trying to get these files off this laptop for a while. Um, 
so yeah, that's who Alter Ego is. It's, uh, it's pretty much Chihiro, um, Chihiro, but as an AI. He made it before he died, and now it's gone. How can you be, um, how can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you're too tired? We will, um, you will be much more efficient after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap uh, effective? Um, we're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. Anything we, um, we do at night brings a higher chance of Mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should, uh, we should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makuto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, you feel me? I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. This is fine. Okay, then let's part um, for today. We will begin our search for Ultra Ego in the morning. I'm surprised you're even up, Eevee. Hmm. Isn't this too early for you? And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Ugh. Alter Ego has gone, um, has gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discover some, some small measure of hope. But even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then it was, um, hope was, or then that hope was taken away. Despair. It's just like, it's just like what the Mastermind is doing to us. Then could it um, really be true? Whoever um, stole Ultra Ego? Oh, so he was very sad that uh, Mundo betrayed his trust and stuff, and he couldn't believe that um, he would. What's it called? What am I thinking of? Um, that he could kill Chihiro, because Mundo killed Chihiro in the last chapter. And then, so um, what am I thinking of? So. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> uh, and so once he saw Archer Ego, and Archer Ego kind of um, did did a thing where he showed what like Mundo would say to him right now to get him back into shape. So he's taken this persona of <laughs> but so he taken this persona of himself and Mundo. And fuse them into one, and he has become this super Saiyan uh, Taka. Could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true, no, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't. Um, I didn't even realize I yelled that out loud. The scary thing is, the idea is someone spying on us. Uh, what's really scary is the idea that starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself into bed, trying to shake it off um, all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. And now I need to drink some water. As Monokuma Theater plays. Ah. Oh. oh yeah. Murder. It's just a word for a uh, word who's. Definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. I, I fell asleep at 10 after farming with uh, Moku last night. The mountain did drop last night for us, but we didn't get it. I did get the red mage weapon, though. I rolled a nine on the mount. It made me very sad. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and yeah, night time is, is officially over. over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! 
Six hours should be enough to Eevee. Let's be honest here. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was away for me, was it like fighting? Some more fighting? Only four of us. Is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? There was only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me? Only four people? God. This is why I hate people who um, take their sweet time with everything. However. So after I get my bar to level 80. Red Mage is the next one I'm getting to level 80. Just because how cool the weapon looks. Anyway. Let's wait a little longer for the others. So we decided to wait in, uh, in case anyone else showed up. But no uh, matter how long we waited. Um. So. It's 8 o'clock. And we've been waiting for a full hour. Mm -hmm. Why haven't the others come? Because, I mean... Hero and Celeste um, have never missed a day until now. And what I'm really worried about is Fumi and Taka. And Moku died like 500 times, I swear. Uh, they were more eager than anyone uh, to look at for Alter Ego. And they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened, huh? It would seem... I was clear. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monika gave us a motive. There was no way something uh, would have hap um, happened eventually. Monokuma's motive? The money! That's right, he like put up like a million zenny. Ten million or dollars. dollars! I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wow, 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 am I right? Don't tell me, um, tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, um, and I hated that I did. You can re um, really never know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look um, for people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Do you want to run Eden tonight, um, Evie? We can cover uh, more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go to the doors, make sure to check all the rooms. Makoto, um, check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second. Okay, okay then I guess I'll check the third. Anyway. Uh, don't take any risk if any uh, if anything happens, call for help right away. But I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well then, possibly. Okay, let's go. Anxiety has written across each other's uh, faces as we spent our as we face our faces as we went our separate ways. With that hesitation, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, just just tell me if you want to or not. If not, I'll just go with Moku. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Let's look here. I don't think it's this room. Is it one of these rooms? I think they're on the third floor, if I remember correctly. I don't think it's that one. I don't think it's in the AV room. Definitely not there. Go always check the nurse office. Um, everything seems pretty normal here, so it's not here. I think I have to get- <laughs> Someone come here! What? That was Tina. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There's no time to waste. I 
Oh my goodness. We found a dead body. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away I saw her standing in the hallway. But please. But Makoto. What's wrong, Hina? It, it's but... awful. The rec room door was open. And when I looked inside, I, I saw, I saw. What did you see? I'd better get the others, right? I'm going to go get them. You go ahead, Makoto. I, I, I'm going to get them. Um... Oh yeah, I read, I read that. Before I could say anything, she was rushing down the stairs. The, the rec room. What did she see in there? By the point, um, I was using an acting without thinking. So without thinking, I left into the rec room. Is it Fumi died? Uh, I think Fumi dies right here. I think it's Thick Boy, but I'm not. I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. The first thing uh, when I saw when I got into the rec room was. <sighs> It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Oh! Uh, Makoto! Celeste, what uh, happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked? By who? Uh, I I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? Uh, A special person whose existence is so unusual. I, I can't help but to call him strange. Without a doubt, there's some... Um, some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something? Pretty strange design. There's some, something written on it. Justice Hammer 1. That is the hammer he attacked me with. I can barely manage to avoid the blow and I stumbled and fell. <laughs> I now, um, I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked uh, with this. Justice Hammer 1. Makoto, Celeste! Okay. I found Sakura. What? Celeste, what on earth happened to you? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. A strange man? Tell us uh, everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Uh, well, it all happened um, earlier this morning. I woke up before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew um, it was about to end, so I decided I would be okay if I... I decided to take a stroll around the first floor. I understand now that was a mistake. Anyway, that is, um, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately worried of him. So obviously, um, I, he was obviously suspicious. Uh, in TV. Well, yeah, cause Celeste, look at Celeste. She's like beat up and stuff. Somebody tried to murder her. So I uh, decided to follow him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to take a peek um, through the gap door, which is when I noticed when she is when he noticed me. Mm -hmm. I need to keep that in. And that's when um, you were attacked. Uh. It happened after 7 a.m. Just after nighttime had ended. So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, then that is where, uh, that was about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. Uh. No, no, no. It's much more complicated than that. The attack caused uh, me to lose consciences, uh, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. But... Well, I'm glad you're, you weren't hurt too badly. Uh. That is because I begged and groveled for my life. Mm. You did? As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered uh, to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So you're willing to throw away your pride? Indeed. It was necessary skill for survival. Anyway, um, the mo um, important thing now is we got to search for the suspicious individual. Um, if we need to hurry... Uh, if we do not hurry, this special, uh, this could be a serious problem. Why, right? Yeah, why? We react. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? Um, when I looked into um, the rec room, I saw the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him Hifumi. Uh, 
Hifumi? <laughs> After he attacked me, he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Slez, uh, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? <sighs> did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, um, would it be probably fastest uh, if I simply showed you? Showed us? Indeed. This is, um, this is Hifumi's, um, hand down his digital camera. Ah! You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph a suspicious individual without him realizing it. Huh? Seriously, let's see it. <laughs> I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would uh, do you no good. With a strange comment in uh, mind, we all took a look at the camera. What? We were definitely right about uh, you. Well, you were definitely right about strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, it was very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged Hifumi away? And it uh, took his right after being attacked. Uh, in other words, a full hour ago, which is why we didn't hurry. This is why if we don't hurry, uh, it could be a serious problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there's much I don't understand, but hmm. the point is, someone dressed like uh, like that and dragged you feel me away, and it happened over an hour ago. Just a second. This is bad. We have to hurry. Uh, Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? Let's see. When uh, they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they headed towards the stairs leading to the second floor. Then we must, uh, he must be down there, right? Mm. So level four, where Kyoko was supposed to be, huh? Huh, speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko um. here? Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. This is, wait, so you went all the way to the dormitory? That doesn't make any sense to me. Cause Hina was on the third floor. And Kyoko or Kigiri was on the second floor. Wouldn't it be the quickest way to, or the quickest to get her instead of Sakura? Because Sakura was all the way in the dorms. This is bad. If the strange man um, did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. As soon as those words were out of the mouth, we all rushed to the, um, out of the room down to the second floor. Hey, you two. What? What? What's going on? What's all the fuss? <laughs> what? Yeah, you guys, playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have you two seen uh, Kyoko and Hifumi? You've gotta be kidding! Nope, nope, sure haven't. Are they on this floor? Oh, uh, we just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. Uh -huh. We came together. Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. Uh, anyway, uh, can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? Ugh. There's no time for, uh, we'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Hey, Fumi, Kyoko, if you can hear me, say something. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm hmm? Hmm? Oh. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. Library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library. <laughs> uh -huh. It hurts. It hurts. We found Hufumi seriously injured. Are, are you okay? Um... I'm glad to see you're alive. <laughs> it's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? <laughs> Robot Justice, er, that's what I decided to call him just now. What What did you say? Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> that guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice, are you referring to his 
this, is it not? What the hell am I looking at? This is one that attacks Celeste and Fumi. Isn't that right, you Fumi? <sighs> yeah. This is unforgivable. That's him. I'm sure of it. Robot Justice. It can't be. Robot Justice, huh? Damn. <laughs> this just keeps getting stranger. It's a hammer, just like the, uh, the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one is Justice Hammer 2. And on top of that, uh, this one's actually a little bigger than the first one. <laughs> he attacked me with the hammer. He bunked me on the head, right on the head. And, um, dead with it. Well... The hammer, um, that big, I'm surprised you're still okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Hey. Protein helps um, heal his wound, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> I've never heard such a thing. Are you sure it's just, is it, or is it just you? <laughs> Ah, Marlon oh. It's him! <laughs> Robot Justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it, uh, can it combine? <laughs> what? Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Well, let's not concern ourselves with him. Uh, what we need to do now is get him to the nurse's office right away. Uh, whatever we uh, do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Yeah. You're right, let's go. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We moved to food to the nurse's office on uh, the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Hmm. How are you feeling, Fumi? You want me to take a look at that? Um. I'm okay. I think the, uh, it stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then, perhaps you should rest for here for a little while. I suppose. Yeah, good idea. Well then, those of us should um, get back to uh, get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Uh, indeed, before another victim appears, the Justice Hammer seems to be increasing in size. First one, and now two. So, in other words. If there's a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it's even bigger than the first two. Oh! If you got uh, hit with anything bigger than that, you, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Um... Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Eagle ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor and there was a strange uh, costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be when I witnessed it around 7 this morning. After that, he dragged me into the library and whacked down me came the hammer. It must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At 7.30, in other words, uh, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together and Kyoko was with us, still with us. So we have alibis. I was in the laundry room doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear uh, is as black as pitch black darkness of the blackest night. What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was speaking. Anyway, so that means Byaka and Toko were together at that time. Meaning they also have alibis. There's the only, then the only one who didn't have alibis uh, for when Celeste and Fumi were attacked are the only two that haven't, um, haven't seen yet. Hiro and Taka. That's Very right. Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh yeah, she's supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her um, up there at all. <sighs> when it uh, where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So that's it. She might be exactly as I expected. Oh, hold on. Koko was with us in the dining hall, so Celeste and Fumi were attacked, so... Hmm. I'm not talking about who attacked them, huh? In other words, I'm referring uh, to what we talked about last night, who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working for the mastermind? Th that's not possible. What? Isn't it? The one who's almost eager to handle dead bodies hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey. 
save the discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. That was a lot of mumbling by me. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That's um, that might be why Kyoka and Taka and Hiro haven't showed up yet. She, she's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. I think we have to go to the third floor. Mm. So whoever's running around, um, why are they wearing a weird costume? <laughs> Don't bother looking for reasons from a deviant. What to do? What to do? So, so we're gonna. So what are we gonna do? Split up and look around? Our opponent is very dangerous. We do not know what um, they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? <laughs> I saw a shout, something moving towards the top of the stairs. Uh, oh, really? Uh, Up to the second floor damn. then? You bastard won't get away from me. We all shot towards the stairs. Uh, Must be around here somewhere. Split up and corner him. Well. Um, but don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out, and I'll come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we yell? Just a second. Anything. It doesn't matter. So then. Then it's ha, ba, okay. What are you saying? Ha, or duda, or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so you, we can hear you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do ya? I have never heard such a reaction. Mm. Okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna um, discommission you. Uh, we uh, spread out in every direction to track down the uh, costume suspect. Oh, I think I know where we need to go. Okay. If I remember correct. Oh, no, this isn't the right floor. Is this the right floor? Maybe it's not the right floor. This is the floor I'm thinking of. She's in the floor, thinking of. That strange cry. It had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor? I started towards the third floor. Everyone. Okay, here, everyone. Everyone who had heard the screen coming Just from. Just a second. So, so strong. What? This is very intense screen for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume, costumed man. He ran as soon as I screamed. Um, I was walking the stairs so he had further down into the hallway and disappeared. He must be down the hall. Come, let's go. Haha. <laughs> what is it now? Huh? Huh? Whoa, it's really true. But it doesn't matter right now. Huh? What was that? It came from downstairs. It must have been Kifumi. He must be in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come, we we have to go back and get him. What? Worry about the suspect. We've got to get all the troubles to capture him, right? Mm. Then why don't we split up into two groups? It's all clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. It seems much more interesting. So then. Well, the Makina and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture um, of the suspicious individual of Toko, Sakura, and Biaka. So then. We'll handle it. Just go take care of Hifumi. Uh, okay, you guys be careful. Uh, with that, we uh, split into two groups. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran down the stairs on the first floor. Just a second. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. Okay, okay, we're going to the nurse's office. We stormed into the nurse's office, and we greeted was a world of crippling crimson. Or dripping crimson. I don't know why I said crippling. What 
dang. Everything was covered in red. In the center of uh, of this all of all this red was. He feel me? No! Ah. It, it looks like the... something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not um, imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. No way! Murdered? Are, are you? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? Yes, he is. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the? <laughs> that was the body discovery announcement. The body discovery announcement. Uh, where three or more people discover a body after a murder that, um, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... <laughs> It me must mean, you feel me? Someone killed him. One of us. Wh one of us? And look at that. When Celeste uh, said that, she pointed it to something. Something on the floor. So I had been on the floor after the last two in surprise. Alright. Alright. I think... I think this is a good place to just end today's... Um, Dream. Just because it seems like it's uh, rather rather heat up. We found the yep yep yep. Uh, no, we want this. We found where the body is. We found the next victim to somebody that we don't know who killed him yet. Anyway, guys, I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Uh, don't forget, I do try to stream every weekday from like for a couple hours or so. Maybe just an hour and a half, depending on how I feel. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. And as always, this is Raw Down. See you on the next stream.